Welcome back. Right. A lot of news this week has been about the horrible chaos in Iraq, the rise of the militant group ISIS, and most of the corporate media will tell you it's time to get back to bombing. Reuters reported recently that the Iraq war has cost us $2 trillion since it started in 2003. You know how much it would have cost to end world hunger for the entire 11 years? Roughly $330 billion. And people around the world would have loved us. It's not that often you can say to someone, hey, you want to save over a trillion and a half dollars? Just end world hunger. That's all you got to do. <laughs> save a lot of money. But instead, we only spend money on war. How is this allowed to go on? Because the a-holes making these decisions trust that the American people don't know what's going on. And they're right. Most Americans don't even understand why the ISIS milis militants aren't Italian. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like, if I find Gino, I swear I'm going to kick his ass. I, I, don't, I don't know much, but I know Gino's full of shit. I've got an idea. I happen to have a time machine I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. Don't act surprised. It says Beyond right there in the name. <laughs> Maybe we can send someone back in time to warn 1990s America that toppling Saddam Hussein and occupying Iraq would, would result in a quagmire in a very volatile part of the world. Should we do it? Should we? What do you think? Send someone back? Yeah, you guys down? All right. Let's do it. We need someone tough. All right. We need someone tough. Now. Oh, someone who can put together sentences. I said put together sentences. <laughs> oh, okay. World renowned intellectual Noam Chomsky. Now, nah, though, I've seen too many time travel movies. He'd get bogged down in a discussion about why time travel is paradoxical. So, uh, <laughs> that's not good. Oh, gay Teletubby. He might work. Huh? But we need, we need someone respected by the DC lunatics. We do. So, we, we, oh, Dick Cheney. That, this might just be crazy enough to work, all right? He created this catastrophe. Maybe he can stop it. He shot his friend in the face. Clearly, he's tough, all right? The DC establishment loves him. Let's try it. Let's send Cheney back to warn the world that DC. Stabilizing Iraq would, would be a disaster for the entire region. What, what's that? Oh, they're, they're telling me it's done. Apparently, time travel doesn't take much time. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so we already have video of it. Here's time traveler Ch uh, Cheney in, in the year 1994. Because if we'd gone to Baghdad, we would have been all alone. There wouldn't have been anybody else with us. It would have been a U.S. occupation of Iraq. Once you got to Iraq and took it over and took down Saddam Hussein's government, then what are you going to put in its place? That's a very volatile part of the world, and, and if you take down the central government in Iraq, you can easily end up seeing pieces of Iraq fly off. Uh, part of it uh, the Syrians would like to have to the west, uh, part of eastern Iraq uh, the Iranians would like to claim, fought over for eight years. In the north, you've got the Kurds, and if the Kurds spin loose and join with the Kurds in Turkey, then you threaten the territorial integrity of Turkey. It's a, it's a quagmire. My God, we did it! Maybe, maybe we've, uh, maybe we've changed the course of history, or, or maybe, you know, maybe hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people don't have to die, or maybe creating absolute chaos in the Middle East is what these greed pirates, these ass holier than thou monsters, wanted all along. Anyway, you know, they, they knew this would happen in Iraq. Jesus, we should have sent gay Teletubby. <laughs> we should have.